Hey, it's Harker from Play. Today I'm going to show you how to design a page from scratch in Play using components that you've brought over from Figma. So I'm going to first start off by just grabbing these components in Figma. This is my design system and Command C copying them and then Command V pasting them into Play. Now, if you have a larger design system, we recommend doing this in chunks so that you don't have crazy waiting times as you're waiting to bring them into Play. Now that they're in Play, we can take a look at each one of them individually and prep them to use them in our design. So first, let's talk about this large title. So we need to do three things here. Number one, we need to make sure it's width is set to fill. Number two, we need to make sure the text is editable. And three, we need to pin it to the top of the page and account for safe area. So let's do that. First, let's set, your, let's set the width to be fill. So I'm gonna right click, set the width to be fill. Next, I'm gonna select the text and make it editable. And lastly, I'm gonna select the full thing and I'm gonna go into the padding I'm going to set the top padding to be equal to the bottom padding. So just basically remove some of that top padding here. So we'll just set it to be eight. And I'm gonna turn on the top safe area padding. This safe area is gonna be dynamic depending on which iPhone size you're using. So if you're using an iPhone 16 Pro or something, it's gonna have that dynamic island and gonna have a pretty big safe area. Versus if you're using an iPhone 8, it's gonna be a much smaller top safe area. Again, that's all calculated for you based on which device play census that you're on. Last thing we need to do is pin it to the top corner because we always want this to be at the top of the page, even when we're scrolling. So we'll pin it. And because we want it there when we're scrolling, we also are gonna pin it to the page. And that is all we need to do. We could add a material blur if we wanted to. I will, because I always think that looks pretty nice. Maybe we'll just do a little Chrome material here. Great. And now we can turn this into a component. Next, let's deal with a small title. So for this one, all we need to do is just set the width to be fill and make this text editable. Now we can turn this one into a component. Next, let's deal with this card. So for this card, all we have to do is just turn it into a component because we don't necessarily need this to be filling the entire width. Looks like it's about 300. That tells us it's probably not designed to be the full width of a phone size. So we can just create it as a component as is. And lastly, we have this confirmation button. We're gonna do the same things, make sure that the width is set to fill and make sure that the text is editable. Also turn it into a component. So now that we have all these components ready in play, we can start building out our page. So of course, first we wanna start with the title. So I'm gonna drag our large title onto the page and I'm actually gonna close Figma so we have more space here. Okay, so we've dragged that large title onto the page and you can see that it made a copy of this. We're using an instance on the page. The main component cannot actually be in the prototype. It has to be on the canvas. So from here, we can just adjust the data in this. So maybe this is gonna be articles. Cool. Next on this page, we wanna do a small title. So I'm gonna drag this on, but watch what happens. It's gonna be underneath this main title. That's because the main title was pinned to the page, which, mean, which means it's removed from the auto layout that Play automatically does. So if we wanna be able to see this small title, we're gonna to have to add some additional padding to the top of this page. So I'm gonna select the full page, go into the padding slider and just add some top padding. Mm. That looks pretty good. Mm. Maybe 64. We can figure it out. Great. So now that's good to go. And maybe we can title this one um, for you. Mm. Now we want a carousel of these cards. So in the canvas, I'm going to make a stack using the keyboard shortcut S. And I'm just going to drag it for now. We'll resize it later. I wanna make sure this is a horizontal stack because I want it to be a horizontal carousel. So I'm gonna change the direction to be horizontal here. And then we can just drag one of these cards in. Again, it's gonna make an instance of that card rather than use the main component. So now we're gonna set the height of this main stack to be auto just by double clicking on the edge here. We're gonna set the width to be fill. Now it's important for the width to be fill because we want this to be the scrolling thing, not the page. So when I take this card and do Command D a couple of times to duplicate it, you can see now this stack has overflow, so now it is going to scroll. Overflow is what causes scrolling in play. So now I can adjust some of the scrolling settings from the scrolling panel here. I'm gonna set the paging to start, so now it's gonna snap to position, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of gap spacing in here. I'm also going to remove a color from our stack. I'm gonna call this carousel. So now I can drag this carousel onto my page. It's going to go right underneath this title here. 
Now, I think this might need a little bit of padding, so we can even do this with it on the page. I'm just gonna go over to my padding slider and add a bit of padding there. So now we can just repeat this process a couple more times because components are meant to be used again and again. So I'm just going to duplicate this a couple times and then use my arrow keys to move them down. I'm gonna do the same thing with this carousel, duplicate it twice, and then we can scroll down so we can use our arrow keys to position everything correctly. So in the end here, you can see we have our title at the top, and then we have each of these horizontal carousels with a title, uh, a subtitle for each of them. So now this is one of my favorite parts is adding in the content. So I'm gonna select my full page here. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna autofill with unsplash. This is gonna fill in all of the photos. So this is an article, so I'm just gonna say news. And when we press search, it's gonna fill in every single image that is in our selection. So that's the full page here with a different news related article. Now this is not exactly what I was going for, but for quick prototypes where you just need to fill in everything, this works super great. And you can also do the same thing with text using placeholder. From here, we can add interactions. Maybe we wanna add like a touch up, touch down to this card. We can do that in interaction mode. Quickly just go over to this prefabs, touch up and touch down, add that on here. Now back in design mode, when I test this on a simulator, full page on a simulator, it's our simulator. Now, every time I touch any of these, it's gonna scale down because that is now applied to the main component, so it's applied to all instances of the component. And that's how easy it is to build from scratch and play using your design system from Figma. Thanks so much for watching this video.